now in this tutorial i am going to show you about php filters i mean php filter how to use this php filter function okay php filter actually used for validates and sanitize the external input like your user input in html form i mean when your users will send data in form html form you can sanitize data or check data validations okay i mean you can validate the input your users input okay so let's go to see live first open your jump control panel start apache and mysql go to your folder directory where you have installed explorer then ht docs then our first folder my first php project okay just edit it notepad plus plus your index file or index file in our previous part i have discussed about php session okay so here just remove the session you can remove it session in here this is our php block in our body section and here i can write php php filter okay open your browser write localhost slash p your folder name okay or php filter you can see this is a very basic template anyway if you are beginners in this just go to my channel and you will get step by step tutorial for beginners anyway here first suppose before seeing this tutorial i will highly recommend to just search on google that php filter and you will get a link of w3 schools or php.net etc and you will get then you just read the link that you will get in the link a lot of list of php filters okay but here i am showing you just some important php filter functions okay so let's go how to use that first suppose declare a variable suppose i write here i write str string value and also before seeing this tutorial i will highly recommend please check my previous tutorial php data type okay but if you already know so i'll come to but if you don't know please check my previous tutorial i will highly recommend you will get the link in my video description php data type you need to know must okay so this is a string data type here i just write a html suppose a h1 and then close the h1 tag okay and here i write suppose i am learning php programming okay something like that i am write this just as an example and here just echo i mean echo this variable i hope you already know about it if you check my previous tutorial you can see it's a string data type okay because i have write it in a quotation mark you can see double quotation and then i have assigned this value in another variable is string now just echo this is string okay so if you refresh you can see i am learning php programming h1 tag cause here i have used h1 tag html h1 tag you can see and for this it's designed so first here how to sanitize this tag okay suppose you want to remove this h1 tag okay h1 tag dynamically i mean by using psv programming you want to remove the h1 tag just you want to print the plain text okay i mean i am learning psv programming just want to print this sentence but you don't want to any format i mean html tag h1 so how to sanitize just here suppose you can write suppose str new i write another variable you can see str new you can write anything as you wish okay and here just write filter underscore var function okay this is the built-in function of php i hope you already know about that php has more than 1000 built-in functions and for this php is most popular anyway this is the building function php filter underscore bar okay it's a two parameter first parameter which variable you want to filter okay so we want to filter this variable because our sentence is assigned in this variable okay so here this is a string below you know that a string data type anyway here just copy this filter this is string and here just write capital letter filter underscore 
sanitize underscore string okay cause this data is a string data type and here just write filter underscore sanitize underscore string this function okay and main function is filter underscore var and here just print this our new string okay here you can see new string and refresh your browser you can see i am learning psp programming is a plain text you can see no h1 tag you can see here we have write h1 tag in our string value and assign this here but in the new variable i have here just sanitized you can see filter underscore sanitize underscore string okay by using filter underscore var okay again suppose here i write dollar declare a variable suppose i write ip okay ip i write a small letter ip equal to i hope you already know what is ip okay so how to check a valid ip suppose here i write 127.0.0.1 okay it's a local host ip you can see 127.0.0.1 it's a local host ip and it's a valid ip i mean real ip okay but how to check that it's a real ip so here you can write a condition okay you can write a condition that if here just write the function filter underscore var okay filter underscore var that i hope you already know that filter underscore var have two parameter first parameter is the which variable you want to filter then what you want to do so here we want to filter this variable ip and here we want to do that just write capital letter filter underscore validate underscore ip okay we want to validate our ip that it's real or not also you can here use equal equal we can write boolean true okay if filter underscore bar this function that it's have two parameter our first parameter is our variable ip and then what you want to do i want to do that filter ip okay so here just write filter underscore validate underscore ip and here you can see this is a function filter underscore var equal equal true if filter underscore var equal equal true i mean this ip is real then here just echo i mean print ip is a real or valid okay or just else i hope you already know about it if else condition if you don't know please check my previous tutorial you will get the link in my video description psp if else condition okay anyway and here else ip is we can write ip is not real or valid okay so just refresh you can see ip is real or valid i mean our this ip is a real ip but if if i write here suppose again 1.0.0 something like that you can see it's not a valid ip address okay you can see i have write it's not valid so just reload you can see ip is not real or valid so you can easily check any input by users that it's real or not by using this method okay again here declare a variable suppose i write int integer value you can write anything as you wish and here i write suppose 50 you can see it's a integer number okay 50 but if i write 50.01 or 02 something like that it's a float number okay i mean php float data type okay so i write the integer value just as example and here again i write if condition and here again i am showing you to by hand typing that you can easily understand okay and learn perfectly anyway here again just write filter underscore var okay this function and here i hope you already know it's a two parameter first parameter which variable you want to 
filter and then what you want to do so here i want to do that filter underscore validate underscore int integer int mean integer okay it's a abbreviation for integer here i want to do that this variable is integer or not okay here also you can write equal equal true or you can not as you wish and here echo just i write it's a integer value okay and here again just write else condition and here just write it's not integer value okay and now just refresh you can see it's integer value because we can see here actually it's really integer value because i have write 50 but if i write 50.1.0 it's a float data type okay if you check my previous tutorial psp data type i hope you clear about that anyway check my video description box i mean video below you will get the link however you can see integer value but here i have write fluid value so just reload you can see it's not integer value okay by this way you can check data type okay i mean user input data you can check or any data you can check when you need in your program anyway now again how to sanitize the email and how to validate email okay suppose i write here email address something like that email address and here i write just example suppose php programming at rate example.com this is email address structured you can see our email address first email name then at rate sign then gmail yahoo something like that then dot com this is the valid email structure but how to do check so when your user submit email address in your html form you can validate i mean check the email data okay so here you can use if filter underscore var then this email okay this variable and here just write filter underscore validate underscore email okay equal equal true then prints email is or i can write email structure or i can write email address is valid okay but if not email address is valid i can write here email address is not valid okay and now refresh your browser you can see email address is valid because we are seeing that email address is valid but if i write suppose at the red sign just to remove and reload you can see email address is not valid okay by using this way you can check your email just using filter underscore var function and filter underscore validate email also you can sanitize your email but how to do sanitize i mean by using sanitize you can remove unexpected character from your email suppose your user suddenly use a slash it's suddenly use slash so how to do remove it here just use filter underscore var function okay and here you already know it's a two parameter first parameter is variable and then what you want to do write filter underscore sanitize underscore email okay and just assign another variable i write same variable just as an example you can write anything as you wish and then this variable will be here okay if you write another suppose i write here just email so here you need to write email because we want to validate email after sanitization okay so you can see here i have write a slash okay so this filter sanitization email will remove this slash and print here email address is valid so check now just reload you can see email address is valid but if you don't use this suppose just comment out here 
and you need to here just email address or if I write same email address you can see all our email address in here I have just comment out this and here I used a slash okay now just check you can see email address is not valid cause email address doesn't contain any slash so this email address is not valid you can see but if you want to remove unexpected any character from your email or anything just use here sanitize this program just enable filter underscore sanitize underscore email and just reload you can see email address is valid now email address is valid although our slash is exist anyway by according this way you can sanitize url just use any url something like that okay and here url just use here url sorry capital letter url okay here will be just url i hope you can do that this is your home task okay just url and here just will be a url and you can check the url format i mean validate your url so i hope you understand that how to use filter underscore var function and filter sanitize and filter validate okay here i have showed just the beginners okay beginner system but in future you will learn about it more with the live projects